Well, I got this little tray at the thrift store for 50 cents, and it had a sticker back here, and it was from the Dollar Tree. And I'm wondering if it wasn't just a plain little tray and somebody made it over like I'm fixing to do. But anyways, what I'm gonna put in it is this. And I can't remember if I got this watercolor image off of Etsy or Creative Fabrica because I use Creative Fabrica. I paid, oh, I can't remember. I pay a set amount a year and then you can download just over and over and over anything. And if you do sublimation on t-shirts or your tumblers or anything like that, man, they have a lot on there. But anyways, I don't know, I cannot remember where I got it and I looked on my computer and I can't tell where I got it. But they have a lot of water, pretty watercolor on both of them. But I printed it out on some rice paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this in here, the plaster, and go around the outside with the DIY AV, or this Fancy Farm Girl was the color on that. And then I'm going to, I've just taken this with my fingernail and I'm gonna cut it down to size. Yeah. And decoupage it on. So I'm gonna start with, I think the green, the AV, or the Fancy Farm Girl in DIY and let it dry and then I'll go on this in here with the plaster. Okay, I'll just start on this and it is gonna need two coats. And I'll try to stay off of the paper or the center area as best I can. And then I'm sure I'll just stress this down some or maybe, I don't know, we'll see what I do. I never know. I start a project. I never know what I'm going to do with it. Sometimes it goes just the way I have planned. Sometimes I change. I think that's the way everybody crafts. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this up and give it a second coat and then start on the plaster color. Well, I have it all painted and now I'm going to Mod Podge this down right where I want it. Hang on to it. Start up there. I know when I get finished, I'll go. I'll seal it with Mod Podge after I figure out if I'm gonna. I'm sure I'll distress it, so I don't want to hit any of my sides. Or at the top of it. Definitely change the color of the fancy farm girl green. Making sure it's all sealed. And I'll continue on and mod podge this all down. Then I'm going to distress the sides. I'll probably do that with the, uh, just a wipey or a, yeah, because this is the clay based, the DIY, and it comes off with water. Alright, as soon as I finish this, I'll come back and show you how I'm going to distress it. Alright, now I'm going to distress it. And I'm going to wet distress it. Oh, 
on the edges. Some of that dark's coming back through. Oh, that wasn't totally dry and I stuck my finger on it. Okay, I'm gonna go around this and distress it and then I need to seal it. I like the way that's looking. Just gotta keep my fingers off the middle of it. All right, this one is finished. It was just a simple pot project. I just painted the little tray and decoupaged on it and distressed it. I think it turned out pretty cute. All right, I got this from my cousin. It has chicken wire on it, so you know it's gonna have to have a chicken. So I did find a chicken in a nest online and I copied the picture and resized it. And I'll have to cut this out and put it on cardboard because it's gonna have to be glued back here or put back here because I can't put it in here or it will be in front of the chicken wire. So the only thing I can do is to put it around here. And then the silver, it's just way too silver. I wanna do something with the chicken wire. And then I I'm gonna have to figure out a color to paint the frame and I just don't know what that is. But that's where I'm starting. I'm gonna work on the chicken wire and then I'm gonna go with the frame. And then I'll mat this. And I'll show you as I go. I've made a decision. I'm gonna just go with kind of a neutral color and I'm gonna use the Dixie Bell drop cloth color. I think that will look good with that picture. It won't be a white white. And I take this because that picture is gonna sit under here and you'll see all that tan and stuff of the frame on the inside. So I wanna paint that in there, the drop cloth also, so it won't be so noticeable. And I didn't want to hit the chicken wire. And it's going to take a little bit to get all that done, where it's not going to be seen. And I'm sloppy, <laughs> but I wanted to come back and let you know what color I went. I'm going with. And it's gonna take me a bit to get down in those cracks and crevices right there. And I don't even know if I can get all of it, but I'm gonna do the best I can. And like I said, I taped it off so that the uh, chicken wire doesn't get the white on it. And then I'm gonna do something with the chicken wire. Okay, I used uh, a glue stick and I cut me a piece of heavy cardboard just about the same size of that then I measured it all the way around and I put little marks where this is go I have where it's to go I have glue stick on this and that on the picture and the cardboard now it's centered where it needs to go I'm wondering if I shouldn't spray the picture. I think I should spray my picture with a sealer, but I am going to wait till this dries. Just keep kind of rubbing it. Make sure it's down. Let's see how it's gonna fit. It fit just right. Okay, I 
I've got to make sure it's centered back here. And that way it'll kind of cover up the chicken wire and the back of it. That right there is just about right. I'm going to have to figure out how to attach it, but now I don't see it's all centered properly now. Now I gotta figure out what I'll do with the shiny. I might just get a sponge with some black on it or some brown maybe or some, I know, some gray. A flat gray and kind of pounce the chicken wire and let it dry good. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm using a pave a pavement by Apple Barrel. It's the dark gray. And this Anita's acrylic. It's just a gray. Uh, it's called Rainy Day Gray. But it's a light gray and a, a dark gray is what I have. And then I'm just kind of dipping into both of them. And I'm just going to pounce it around. Just where it's not that stark silver. And I covered my edges so it wouldn't. And when I go to dip, I make sure this side's gray and that's like that. So it's kind of a mixture. I'm just gonna pounce it all over the chicken wire. Because chicken wire doesn't really rust like that, or it just kind of turns a dull gray. Now, what I'm doing with the frame is I'm putting, I used the brush that I had brown on, brown wax, and I put clear wax on my brush, and it's leaving just a hint of brown on my frame. Down into the cracks. Making sure I'm getting it all covered. I like the color. I don't, you probably can't see it on camera, but it is leaving a nice color on it. Okay, now I'm kind of wondering. I have the dark and decrepit dust. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. Got a little stiffer brush. I'm going to go in the cracks here and wipe back. I don't know if I'll keep doing this or not. We'll see. Because it's got wet wax on it. I can wipe it back. Let me try. I think I like that. Yes, I do. I like it. I like what it's doing to the frame. Kind of making it look dirty in the edges. Whoops. Didn't want to go out that far. Did it again. Okay, I'm gonna kind of pull it out on the edges there. Get it 
down inside there. Now, let me see, get my picture. All right, I like the way that looks. And that was using the DIY clear wax and the dark and decrepit. That goes on there, this one goes over here. Okay, I like the way that looks. I didn't know what I was gonna do with the frame, but I'm liking that. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm going to clear coat this, just a light coat of spray, clear coat on that, let it dry, and then I've got to figure out how to attach it. Yeah. Probably staple it like it was already. Just get it on there good and run some staples around. It won't take a lot. And that'll be finished. Okay, I'm working on a thrift flip and the last craft show I had, I had a rolling pin in there that I had stamped with, let's see here, this image here of the cow setting. And what else was there? The, these, this sheep right here. One was on one side and one was the, on the other. So now I wanna make another one and I'm gonna use two different chickens, but I wanted to start out showing you how I made sure for me that I had it centered right and everything is I took a sheet of paper and I've taped it on and I laid this down kind of where I wanted it and I made sure I had lines. Let me move that paint before I spill it. I have a line here and a line here. That's where my rolling pin is gonna be when I start rolling so it's centered. And I'll lay my rolling pin on the rooster's head and start rolling. I have to be a little more careful than I am right now. Like that. That way, when I roll it, it's, I've got them spaced far enough apart where they're not hitting one another and they're in the center. I don't know if everybody does that or if they can just stick it on there and start rolling. But with that, I really wanted to know where it was at. So I wanted to show you how I did that. Just put a piece of paper on here inked my stamps, put them where I thought they needed to go, and I make sure you have your lines, or I make sure I have lines, so I know where this rolling pin is, and it's centered on my images. I lay it on the head to start, and just start rolling, like that. So now, what I'm gonna do, now that I have that all taken care of, I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna use the Dixie Bell, uh, chalk mineral paint in the color drop cloth. And I'll let it give it, probably give it two coats and let it dry real good. And then I'm going, I'm gonna stamp it with these. Okay, I've started the first coat of the Dixie Belle in the color drop cloth. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go over the sides or not. I'm really not yet. If I mess up and go over, I'll have to, but I'm gonna try not to and see what it looks like. Just to the ends. And I won't bore you with the painting. Okay, I have my rolling pin all painted and it's dried well. Now I'm just inking my stamp. Well, and then I wanna go around and make sure I didn't hit any of the edges 
of the uh, any of the edges. Thinking it looks all right. Okay, now I'm gonna, I have my two lines here. I'm gonna line my rolling pin up so they're even. I'm gonna set my rolling pin down on there and start rolling. Okay, it came out just fine. Now I'll let that dry and I'll give it a, I'll seal it. But it came out just great. And it's centered. And it seems like if I don't center it, I get it off just a little bit and I don't like it. But this way, by putting those lines on there and being able to kind of eyeball where the lines are and start rolling, it's centered and it comes out good. And hopefully this one will sell as quick as the other one. The other one I did, I did have green handles, so I don't know how the red handles are going to do. I'll leave them red, and if that doesn't work, then I'll go back to the green.